I wish I knew. Welcome back to My Husband is My Best Friend. Yandy Smith briefly speaks on husbands dealing with male infertility. Well, you know what? I am. I, I wanted to make sure that I tuned in because, like so many people, I am learning all about this as I live day to day. I'm learning how many women are affected. I'm learning how many men are affected because people, now that we've opened this room for this conversation, so many people have DMs, so many people have reached out, people walking down the street talk about this live and talk about, you know, just the information that they're getting that they haven't gotten. So I wanted to make sure that I tuned in um, and allowed my platform to listen in on this because like you guys said, and like so many of my friends have dealt with, I've been in crying sessions with women that are just like, I cannot conceive. You know, I've been with my boyfriend, I've been with my husband for 10 years, 15 years, we've been trying to have a baby. And automatically women just think it's them. It's never yeah. a question of their man. That is kind of absurd to women. We don't even think about it. Literally several of my friends and family members have sat in these sessions where we just talk and they're upset and they think it's their fibroids or they think it's just something wrong with their bodies. Um, and sometimes doctors will say, we don't see anything wrong. So then we start mm. to ask God, what's going on with me? What's happening? But it's kind of like we do not. We, it's just is. Be sure to like, share and subscribe. We just do not ever think that it could possibly be our partners. So I think this is great conversation. I'm so grateful that Dr. Payne, you're on the phone to educate my community, educate Keisha's community, because this is an important conversation. My flight is literally taking off in 10 minutes. So I'm standing outside. <laughs> of the All gate. Right. I'm going to stay on as long as I can, but thank you guys so much for being available and teaching so many people um, all yes. about this. And I, I'd love to even know what are some of the things that men can look for? What are some of the things that women can look for in their men to know that these, besides the fact that they're just not having a baby, um, are there other signs of things that they can look for? And then like, what are some of the steps? What should they do? Are there certain things they should eat? Are there certain, you know, things that they can do to increase you know, all those kinds of things I think are important for us to talk about. And I'm going to put my phone back on mute because it's loud in this airport. And well, that's I'll a great be here segue. as long as I can. Great segue. We love you. Thank you. Safe travels. We'll see you when you get back. Yeah. Thanks for tuning in to My Husband is My Best Friend.